This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting advanced techniques in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate two simulations, Repel and Vortex. Another category we haven't looked at is particle emitters. There is a very powerful particle system built into motion, which I'm not going to talk about at all. I have webinars where I spend the entire webinar talking about the particles. But what we have here are a series of pre-built particles that are lovely to play with and can give us all kinds of interesting effects without having to understand how a particle system works at all. I'm going to search for one called water stream. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the orbit so I don't see that and go to water stream. We'll just drop that up into here. And we now have, as we play this, that's kind of cool. Let's pull this up so it's the top of the frame. Pull this down so it fills the frame. Whoa, nice lower yet. There we go. Look at that, isn't that cool? Let's pull that up so we don't see where it comes from, right about there. And we'll pull this down. So it fills the frame. I love the particle systems. There is so much that we can do with them. But, okay, so maybe this is not overwhelming you. Let's go back to, I got an idea. Let's go back, create a new group. I'm going to call this group heart and find in shapes, we'll find our heart again. And we'll drag that into the center of the group. And now we have a heart and there's no relationship. There's no impact between the two of them. So let's animate the heart. Behaviors, basic motion, motion path. Make this small so we can see what we're doing. This is the starting point. That's the ending point. I want the starting point to be slightly outside the frame. And I want it to end up right around mid-frame, right about there. And now as I play this, our heart slides in. I want it to start a little bit later, so let's start about two seconds. Put the playhead where you want the action to start. Type the letter I. That trims the in. Find where we want it to end, right about there. Type the letter O. That's an out. We have a nice animated heart with absolutely no impact with the heart and the cloud. So let's discover another simulation. Select the heart, go to behaviors, and let's go to simulations, repel. Watch, let's see, we'll go to the inspector. And we want to set this to all objects because related objects are objects in the same group. All objects are all objects in the project. The strength is 30. I'm going to change the influence to 500 because, again, I was practicing yesterday. And we're going to set the drag to 0 0.2 and play it. Oh, the evil forces come in. And then our hero arrives, pushing the evil forces away. Ta-da! With no programming. And no small pixels were injured in the making of this animation. Bring it down and then push it back away. Is that not cool? Ta-da! The company logo appears and, and people are thrilled. Now we can play with how far that influence goes. Maybe it needs to be 200 before it gets pushed away. Make them much more integrated, bring it down, push it up. That's so cool. Isn't that neat? Uh, all right, you want to see something different? Watch this. This is this one just blows me away. Select the heart, go to behaviors, go to simulations and create vortex. And now watch what happens. The clouds come down, the hero comes in, and the clouds start nothing. Why? Because I didn't set this to all objects. Related objects are objects inside the group. Set it to all objects. And as long as we're setting, let's set the influence to 600. 
and let's set the drag to 0 0.1. Forces of nature, the crap, wait, what's happening? Everything is starting to revolve around us. Is that not cool? Well, let's make that even more dramatic. Let's pull this in here. And let's change the color. Notice in the cloud, I have all these different components. Open up the water component. See where it says water stream? And select blur 11. This is the actual dust particle that's turned into a particle system that turns into the fog and the clouds that we see. I'm going to grab blur 11 and go down in the inspector particle cell and change the color over life from, um, from the default, which is a grayscale, into, oh, let's try blue sky. And our particle comes in, and the vortex starts. Lovely. Well, maybe we want something more depressing. Uh, we have pollution or something. So we're going to go with mirage. Uh, not as attractive. Again, we're changing the color over life. When a particle is new, it's light yellow. As it gets older, it gets darker and darker and darker. The colors are changing over the life, the duration of the particle. Well, let's change. This is my favorite. I like this one. Let's change it to rainbow. Ta-da! And our hero, our logo comes in. The colors of the rainbow appear. And look at that. Is that not just too much fun? <laughs> Play it again. Look at that. They stream in. Then our logo appears, and all the colors seem to revolve around us. I like that. Simulations give you incredibly powerful movement without having to do any programming, especially no keyframing, to do things like bouncing off edges, the force of gravity, objects orbiting around, swirling vortexes, repelling evil forces. All of those are built into simulations. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting a variety of advanced techniques in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for webinar 305. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.